And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darkness Control. We're going to be playing a viewer submitted Darkness Control deck. The version that they've been playing and having success with in ranked currently with the uh, current metagame. And it looks pretty interesting. The main thing that's, you know, looking at it, it looks, you know, pretty normal, all that kind of stuff. But the main thing that's different here, triple Withering Whale, triple Mini Morph, double ruination and i kind of make i think that kind of makes sense i think ruination could be pretty well positioned and in particular they wanted against the zoe nami decks how you know they have uh like their shellies and they just go go wide and go really big and stuff like that and having ruination against those decks that makes sense um also these poppy decks ruination can be pretty good against as well and then of course you have senna where if you do have senna in play you can have that fast speed ruination um, and really catch people off guard with that. So that could be pretty cool. That's something that people maybe won't be expecting too much. So it looks good. Looks like a pretty good list. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Darkness Control. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. So this is the end of the Wednesday night stream. We actually already did play Poppy Brahm and we did the Saltwater Scourge with Pike. But I'm probably posting this video first, which is why I deleted the record from the Poppy Brahm because I have the thumbnail for this video. I don't have the thumbnails for the others for YouTube quite yet. And we get a darkness control mirror. So it's going to be all about who can make their darkness deal the most damage. So love having love having this twisted catalyzer. Increase the damage of darkness. Um, I think I'm molding the rest. So what's going to be all about? Increase the damage and make it cost less. Want to be able to do those two things. Only I can command darkness. Only I. Those two things. Okay, so so far we're kind of up with having three damage darkness. Give me your malice creatures of doom. And now we are all tied. Saving both spell mana so that I can play the Robe Maker and then my darkness costs two. Now we can play the two two mana darkness. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Halt, uh. They'll still draw the card even if I like Pokey Sticker Vile Feast my own thing. Which does mean I don't play Senna. Good card. Good card. I of course want to get this out of my hand so whenever I do play Senna, I have the mana to be able to play it. to play Senna right now. But I play Senna, they get to darkness and kill my catalyzer. If I attack, they don't get to do that and we can increase the damage of our darkness by one. Oh, yeah, attack's the, the way to go. Easy does it. Alright, darkness is up at four. And it only costs two mana. And that four is very important because, yep, because both champions 
Got that four health. One ghost down, thousands to go. Withering Wheels don't look so good. They're probably the worst card in our deck for this matchup. Gross. These might be like three of the most useless spells. Like fresh offerings, I don't know if I'm gonna have three allies dying around, but I guess like I don't even I don't I just don't care about the other two. Wow, that that's the worst conchologist I've ever played. Alright, so we have two useless withering whales and the worst conchologist that we've ever played. But besides all that, we're doing okay. So I'm making the stress defense cost uh, more mana. It's going to be more difficult for them to play a champion and protect it with stress defense. Life is cyclical. Darkness ends. Oh dear. So close. Two out of three. Good card. If they attack out, I'm going to be going with Pokestick, not Withering Whale, because Withering Whale leaves me too vulnerable to the champions, mana-wise. You could say I got a life wish. Ready to fire! Easily as clay. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. World. So it's probably going to bait out the stress defense I would expect. So they got four other mana. So it puts it to six. This is four, five, six. Need to do all this at the same time, don't want to just do damage and then give them and then like allow them to stress defense again. Or they do have a second stress defense. Does three. They've got a ghost of a chance. Give me your valley creatures of doom. It's all good. They're down to two cards. I'm basically at one card. <laughs> I have hidden pathways. They can draw two. These three cards are pretty useless. Eyes forward. Keep your distance. 
resistance. But I have a very important one here with the Senna. Double Pokey Stick. Vagar, destroyer of worlds. So I'm gonna go ahead and prank and just kind of get some more information about what their hand looks like before playing this Vagar. Mini morph plus two cost, so they're saving that for Vagar. Sure, it looks like. Fading memories to create like another Otterpus. Make many more cost two more mana again. We are one out of three. Oh, I, I guess I could just do the Contologist and get a new spell. sense. Turn it against them. One goes down, thousands to go. So they let this happen, it levels up my Senna. Which I guess they probably kind of have to. Yep. Alright, so sen so any future Senna will be leveled up. Man, we almost can fresh offerings. Almost get this Vile Maw. Uh, if only this ephemeral died a little earlier. Almost. Alright, so this is slow speed. I want to cast that right now. Because if, if I go to attacks, they mini morph the Vagar, right? So I cast this now so that then we can make the Dark Bulb Acolyte. And then we can make another one because it's slow speed. It's not fast speed anymore. But I also want to do it right now so, like, you know, before they can mini morph in, so before I can do damage to the Nexus. I guess they can't mini morph because they lose if they mini morph, don't, don't they? So. That should just be game. Wait, maybe not game. Wait. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so actually I have to go this way. Yeah, and so it's not technically game yet. But we're in a good spot. We're down to two. I'm just gonna heal my Nexus for three. What else am I doing with that card? Let's be honest. What else am I doing with that? 10 mana for a mini morph? Man, this economy is rough. So they can just play a new one. And that'll do. 1 and 0, oh, darkness control. Yeah, speaking of this economy, 5 mana for a health potion. 
spend 10 mana for a mini morph, I have to spend 5 mana for a health potion. Ooh. It's been a little bit since I've played against some Xerath. Zillion Xerath is a cool deck. I like this hand. I'm gonna keep it. I think I like everything in here. Because we're gonna be able to. We have two creative cards right there. So Hidden Pathways is 3 mana. Minus one invulnerable or plus two for that thing. We'll go plus two for that thing. So I'm just gonna vile feast this rock hoppa anyway. So make it more difficult for them to save stuff with ancient hourglass. Zills. Zills is pretty perfect here. Haven't I been here before? At once. All right, Rose with the donation deck for Zareth Zillion Arsenal Control. Playing that one again. So yeah, that's could be what we're playing against right now. Zareth Zillion Arsenal Control. I have not liked these Withering Whales. I shall admit, I have not liked them. Would you look at this place? My board! Whale is for Pompey and Discard. Discard as in... Scion. A lot of people do play a lot of one health things with that deck, so I could see that being fairly good there. Oh, yeah. Glimpse Beyond. See, now we're talking, but man, playing this card with Shadow Isles is rough. Like, Conchologist has been pretty bad for us. Like, there are so many bad Shadow Isle spells that cost three or less. It's crazy. We are in a very poor region. Yeah, I'm used to playing this card in Targon, where, like, all the spells you get in Targon are amazing. We're in a very poor region for this card. I guess I just pass. Yeah, I could definitely see playing one of these. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Taking out one Withering Whale and playing one Crumble because of the Bandle Tree. Because you do have to be able to... Yeah, you got to kill the Bandle Tree these days. I like that idea. I'm not sure if I've played Yasuo, Leona, Malphite. I've, I've played different combinations of those. I don't know if I've played all three of them together, but I think I've played, like, Leona. I've definitely played, like, Yasuo and Leona and Yasuo and Malphite and Leona and Malphite. Like, I've, I've done the two, like, all three of those. There's, you know, on that's my Mobiletics page with all the decks, and on the Mobiletics page, you are able to search by champions. Um... And so you can kind of see those. that They're going to be kind of old. Like, it's been a couple of months since I played those. But you can search by champions. Alright, so the sar sarcophagus. Oh, I'm not looking forward to facing this arsenal, just in general. I'm not looking forward to it. Yep, not looking forward to it. There's a lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. Yeah, I don't I don't like our chances here. Hey, I am feeling great. Oh, this girl is heavy. Darkness and light. 
Keep your distance. So I did this one, figuring, you know, we could kill it with the Pokey Stick. Also find killing it with the Senna. Alright, looks like I gotta be on my guard for Zillion. I'm playing another Time Bomb and leveling up Zillion. Yeah, I'd love to play Vagar right now. But I'm, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about I play Vagar, they level up Zillion. They'll just write? Yeah, like that's why I'm not doing all these at the exact same time. Like if I, if I play all, all of them, then yeah, they can write at the... Um, right of the whatever it's called. But yeah, they they can do this right as well. Make the hurt I mean, I can't stop. I can't stop them using removal, right? Like we don't stop removal spells in our deck. <laughs> Little booms. Yeah, there's no stress defense in our deck. You want a big boom? Yeah, call this guy. It's probably a good time for this. Not particularly sure, but probably a good time. The one you care the less if it dies. Okay. So, sounds like Senna. Because we do need to increase the damage, but yeah, y'all are saying try to get this Vagar to be leveled up. Acolyte dies immediately, but I think that's better than Senna dying. <laughs> they have Hourglass to protect as well. Yeah, Zareth can be awesome. Still have four mana for Hourglass too. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Light it up, huh? Oh, Challenger? Gross. Second time's worth. This tiny thing is supposed to stop me. I will not bear you, Seth. I will not give you peace. Insufferable creature. Draw two other cards to see what we get. Okay, yeah, those mini morphs probably going to be pretty important. Yeah, I guess I guess the mini morph really does help a lot, doesn't it? The elements find the living Against the arsenal, because this is already their second the arsenal. So we've killed one zillion, one Zareth, one the arsenal so far, and this is so this is the second the arsenal. So there's the second Zareth. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to use. Okay, so they're they're doing this trick. 
That's what I was worried about was that trick. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. So we have to use, you know, like one of these things to get rid of spell shield, like maybe withering whale or something. But so they're gonna have this thing's gonna have a million keywords now. Um That's what I was worried about was the hour that hourglass thing, but hopefully the mini morph stomps that. Make the darkness your own. But now they just use that hourglass. Like they don't have that trick anymore. Like they're kinda out of cards. So if this card isn't killing us. It has triple impact right now. And it has you know, it has all the keywords, scout everything. Oh, I can't block it at all. Oh, um. So I need to not spend that one mana on the darkness, and then so then I had five mana, so then I would be able to Withering Whale whenever it came back to take out the spell shield, and then still have the six mana for, and so I could heal my Nexus three, and then still have the six mana for the mini morph. Okay, there you go. This could be a good Ruination matchup. I don't know what what they're really doing with Piltover and Zahn. Are they like copying? Yeah, they could be copying like the other Viego cards. That's possible. All right, we can actually buff up the damage of Darkness. That's very important. Kind of looking for like some card advantage or ways to make Darkness going to keep many more for Viego. Love that we have the attack token on round two. Really hope no Mystic Shot. Could also be Glimpse Beyond. Let's just see if we strike. Wow, we struck. And we keep the 3-2 alive. I don't know if I play this Acolyte right here. I'm just save spell mana. I guess it depends on how early I want to play these champions. Like, if I want to play the champions with the mana for the darkness, with them, um, like, next round, next round, like, Vagar plus darkness. No, I guess not. Alright, we're going Acolyte. Bring me your darkness by Zep, comrade! Yeah, we're not we're not really trying to keep Vagar alive in this deck list. This is definitely a, a you know control deck, kill their stuff kind of deck. I've actually been I I don't know the the mini morphs just for like these games. I've been very happy with you know like their cards that we've needed. The withering whales have looked useless, but I could see them being better in different matchups. But certainly don't really need to play three probably. <laughs> Good, my bogus friend. I totally understood that. Can we keep increasing this damage? We'll make them pay. My mind. We can fading memories the undying. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Memories. I'm not necessarily gonna do that, but I could see me using that on the Warden's Prey or the Acolyte or the Conchologist, you know, like just kinda anything. This gives me a blocker to throw away in front of this the undying as well. Which, speaking of that, I should always just have like a 2-2 two -two in front. Just in case something weird would happen. Oh. 
The reason to play the darkness right now is so that, you know, like, when we play Senna, we just create a new one. But then I only have one extra mana, extra mana after Senna. Bleh. And Senna wants to see us kill stuff. I think I'm going to wait. One goes down, thousands to go. Okay, basically, yeah, like the Sen is gonna die. If that's gonna happen, that's okay, but we're now at 5 out of 12 for the Vagar level up, and we just create the darkness in hand again. And we get that thing to a 3 out of 2. Just get some incidental value in different spots there. Something. No. I, I wanted many more for the seven mana um, Hydrovine. Which I guess maybe I should be copying that Aloof Travelers for Hydrovine. That doesn't seem like it's going to work. I don't know it's going to work, but I don't think that will. I don't know why they attacked with their little guys. Like, they needed to play defense with those things. I don't know. Done. Back to the but we'll take it. Two and one. Timo Caitlyn. I've been forgetting to say this, but uh, we did have a, a Caitlyn deck. Um, Brandon donated a Caitlyn deck, but um, through Streamlabs. And Brandon, your deck list doesn't work. The code doesn't work. So I need, uh, hopefully you can let me know what that code it should be because I can't really see it. It's not working. So if your name's Brandon and you donated uh, a deck, a Caitlyn deck, let me know what the correct code should be. Boo. So my thinking here, obviously this was terrible first cards to draw, right? Six, five, six. Like we want to have a low curve uh, against Timo Caitlin, but I did kind of decide to keep two fours. One because one is Vagar, but honestly I could see I th think that hindsight, I think I probably should have mulliganed the Vagar. But then the other one, the Roadmaker making the darkness cost less, that's gonna be really important against Timo Caitlin. That's uh, you know, puts a lot of cards in our hand. It increases the resources, so like mana is the bottleneck, so you want to have your cards cost less. So I thought the Road Maker was a good thing for that. But I wish I would have Mulligan Vagar, especially with this uh, future hand of um, man, all of our expensive stuff. Five, five, six, six. We made it, yay! But our stuff did it. Okay, I don't really mind that. This will make both of our lives easier. This is another matchup. There's a lot of people playing these Teemo decks. This is another matchup where having a card that destroys a landmark could be really valuable. Vagar increases the damage, but Senna wants to be in play to see us slay stuff to level up. So I kind of want to lead with the Senna. One goes down, thousands to go. 
Next thing I know, I'm up to my britches and purple berries. This card's performing really, really well in the deck, this lecturing Yordle. I, of course, have to do this. So I have the Spiraling Blocker for the Lecturing Yordle. And I'm not sure good and how, I don't know. Okay. Got a buff camp. Not a buff camp. Damage for darkness. I got ways to find me mushrooms. So they open attack with these four threes. Lesson's over. I don't want them to open attack and be able to create those poison darts. That's what I was thinking there. All right, so two out of three with this. I do have the Senna spell that could level up Senna. I wish I would have just played the Vile Feast for a blocker. I kept my options open with that two spell mana. Okay, cool. Alright, leveled up Senna. It's always good to play champion spells against the Puff Cap decks. For the other reason of just getting, you know, putting more spells, you know, more cards into your deck. That's always a good thing to do. This team was not leveled up yet, right? Day in the field. Yeah, not quite. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be leveled up. Hmm. Oh well. Force them to do it. In case they wanted to do something else. Alright, so puff caps will be doubled. Well, that was fast. Forty two puff caps. I will shape death as easily as clay. Life steal. Life steal. They still have just as many cards in hand as we do. Sorry, Ruination. Probably do that while attacking. Have a mushroom. Have free darkness and light. Go away. All right, back to nineteen. I'm really hoping they don't have any protection for this team out. <laughs> you know, hoping this Withering Whale well. uh, is able to take down both of them. I guess I technically do have a mini morph backup plan. Hopefully, they're just casting spells for the peddler. Yep. Yep. The elements 
satisfying the living and the dead. Just getting the other lifesteal unit in play for an open attack. Ouch. Yeah, not gonna let them play another one of those before I open attack. Darkness and light. Watch your step. Let's see. Make the darkness your own. Should hopefully be able to get this with Vagar. This is just <laughs> a test of who can burn the other one out first. No! Alright, well they made the darkness cost more. Still gonna be fast speed, and it'll still go to 3 damage. All right, that'll do. Three and one for our darkness control deck. Just that loss to the arsenal. Okay, this was our one matchup that we lost. So now we can go for the redemption here in round number five. Redemption round. Keep you, Vagar. Send the rest back. All right. GG's. Poison dart or stalking shadows? We do have a lot of good hits for the stalking shadows. I guess I'll try it. You know, hitting something like a Stifled Robe Maker or like the Lifesteal thing or Otter Post would have been a good hit. It's not something I'm planning on playing anytime soon. Okay, so the minus one power can't block with the arsenal. Probably doesn't really matter, but it's good to know that they have that arsenal in hand. I'm going to make this Unraveled Earth cost two more to make that really difficult card to cast. Five mana getting two of the, you know, like, that's a lot of mana for that card. And that'll slow down the arsenal. Vagar, destroyer of worlds. I mean, it's just playing Vagar. It's just the thing to do. I know it gets the vulnerable, but I want it in play. We got to increase the damage of this darkness. The one game we lost, we were not able to increase the damage of the darkness much at all. We got to do that this time. Well then, I guess making that thing a five-two. I guess they, I guess they got me. All right, all right. Wasn't expecting that. But again, it's another tool that destroys a landmark on, so that's going to hurt the arsenal. But between Preservarium and Hidden Pathways, 
do have a lot of removal over there. Oh, I guess, okay, so, like, why are they playing this? They're playing that, okay, wait, no, no, they destroy a landmark and deal four damage card cost three mana, right? Yeah, so they can't play that right now. That card costs three mana. We need to get this damage up. Time is winding. I want my cat, and I want it now. Lord Vega, you cannot rush perfection. And there it is. Yeah, they definitely had it. We tell that they had it. They want me to kill their zillion? That's what it looks like. Looks like they want me to kill zillion. But I suppose I will oblige. And kill zillion so we can make more darkness. Work the fabric, minions! Work it! Yep. The way is always the same. What now? We get some options. So we can make a lot of darknesses with the Acolytes. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Because making a lot of darkness should level up Vagar. Not bad, Conchologist. Not bad. So this is where, again, you you got to pay attention to your hand. So, you know, like, they they let you know if, like, if you have cards that are known that they have the eyeballs above them. Like, they should play the one with the eyeballs above them. Here, I guess we just do this first. Could have an hourglass to save this, but I'd rather them have an hourglass to save this than I don't know. I guess I'm going to be metamorphing the other thing. They have three threats in their deck: Zillion, Zareth, Arsenal. Oh no 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 no! That was close. They've done a great way, a great job of drawing their threats. And our previous opponent with his deck also drew their threats. But I guess they have drawn a lot of cards. In general. Mm. Pokey stick. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely considering that. Gotta keep, gotta keep cards to pop spell shields. Vagar's at 11 out of 12. Explosive. Big and small, I got them all. Okay, you don't pop the spell shield now. I'm not going to do that. Because it's going to come back and it's going to have 
spell shield because everything gets doubled. Only I can command darkness. Only I. Only I. <laughs> Bring me your darkness, my seventh comrade. Another flawless execution. Good. These withering whales are just so useless. <laughs> they're, they're definitely been the worst card in our deck. <clears throat> our deck needs more card draw. That's been something that has been kind of lacking, but these withering whales have not been good. I can see our version being pretty good against the, the Draven Scions and the and the poppy decks and like these withering whales really helping out in those two matchups. So I can understand playing them. Um, this game we just haven't drawn. We've drawn one. Oh no, do we have? We had two Vagars. Never mind. I was gonna say we haven't had champions. We did have two Vagars. Should have blocked the 2 2 instead of the 3 3. Long road behind, long road ahead. Three. If they have another time bomb, this is bad. Maybe I just take the. Oh, no, 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 I can't take the pass because this levels up. Make the hurt your weapon. All right, so we've killed all three Zillions. We've killed two Arsenal, all three Zillion, and one Xerath. I think with this game, just one Xerath. But all the Zillions gone, that's good. And two Arsenals gone, also good. We've seen, what, zero hidden pathways? Darkness and light. Keep your distance. You'll do. Ah. Yeah, they got the Preservariums and the Hidden Pathways. I will fashion this world in my image. Yeah, like, I, I'm killing the Xerath right now. I'm just trying to decide between which way to do it. If I use Darkness plus Withering Whale... Yeah, that, that's, that's the way to go. I was going to say that, like, I, I don't have a great way to pop a Spell Shield, but... I like having this backup so, like, Senna dies, we can play this. Like, we can still make more darkness with, like, the Senna and stuff, and that can bust up Spell Shield. Alright, so two Xeraths, two Arsenal, three Zillions. All dead. It's like, Arsenal right now is the card that they need. Wow. And this was, like, the one round that could have it. Uh, is there no Spell Shield? I don't see Spell Shield, y'all. It's really, really hard to tell, but I don't see a spell shield on here. Like, none of these... Yeah, it doesn't look like a spell shield to me. So here we go. Let's hope they don't gain spell shield. Wow! Not one more family, not one more soul! Wow. That was the way that we could lose, is if they had exactly Arsenal this round before we could make another Darkness, and it had the Spell Shield, but it didn't have the Spell Shield. But, you know, if it had the Spell Shield, and if it had, you know, Scout, like Elusive, right, like it, it would kill us. Keep your distance. Not 
Oh, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of GG because they don't really have anything left, right? They, all the arsenals are gone. Like, how are they doing 20 damage to us? All the zillions are gone for like creating a whole bunch of stuff. All the, all the zillions are gone. All the arsenals are gone. Two zeroths are gone. There, so there's one zerith left. Um, two of our vagars are dead. We only have one vagar left, but it will be leveled up whenever it does show up. It'll be leveled up. Darkness and light. So they just given up because we killed all their stuff. Would you look at this place? Okay, they back. You can only cast darkness targeting the nexus if you have a leveled up Vagar in play, which I do not. So this this does not target the nexus. They're drawing cards. Concentrated forgiveness. Which again, I could do this after they attack. I don't really need to do this immediately. Lot of card draw, so yeah, we could get time bombed. I forward. Keep your distance. All right, that'll do. Four and one, we got our revenge. We got the revenge game against the arsenal. All right, pretty good looking darkness control list here. I think darkness control is strong, but I loved having triple mini morph. That was really important for us for sure. And, uh, you know, got to have your ways to gain, you know, different damage and stuff like that. I could see this. The, so the Withering Rails were really bad for us, and I was complaining about them. But I think it was also the kind of decks that we were playing against. You know, we weren't playing against the Discard um, Scion decks and the Poppy decks, like where you just really, like where they go wide super fast, right? Like we didn't play against any decks that go wide really fast. And I could see the Withering Whale being really necessary there because we don't really go wide, and it's kind of hard for us to stop a deck that goes wide. So I could see Withering Whale helping out a lot in those matchups and it's not like withering well was costing us games right you know like we finished four and one like yeah it, it hurt like the one game that we lost but um you know like we finished four and one so i <laughs> can't really complain about it too much um so you know i would probably keep it like that just just keep trying it out um other option though is the bandle tree is a deck that like a lot is a card sorry that a lot of those bandle decks are playing a lot so i could see playing one copy of Crumble in or in, like over one of those Withering Whales. But there's problems with Crumble too. Like we don't really play very many allies to kill and we definitely don't really want to kill any of our allies because you really want to block everything. So like Crumble's not perfect, um, but it could kill the Bandle Tree if you have to. Um, that's an option. Could also just be playing another, just another earlier unit. Like, you know, we had some early units but it's not like a lot right so i, I kind of wouldn't mind just throwing out you know just some other card like loping telescope which can just you know grab some kind of awesome epic spell and just kind of run into the opponent and just do a little bit of blocking or something like that you know like i could see playing a loping telescope over a withering whale just to you know throw out there do its thing that's another option if, if you think the three withering whales is a little heavy that's a great card to play all right, but there we go. That's going to be it here for Darkness Control. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Darkness Control. What do you think about this list? The two Ruinations were pretty clutch as well. Um, so yeah, definitely give that a try. I liked it a lot. But that's going to be here though for Darkness Control. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.